First question is from Tiffany J. Little. When I go on vacation or take a week off exercise and ease up slightly on nutrition, I lose weight, my digestion is better, and I sleep great. Why is this, and how do I go back to my everyday life and continue the positive momentum? I love this question, and this is an observation that I've had many clients report to me. I have myself identified this yeah. uh, in, at times where I go on vacation and foods that normally would cause gut issues don't necessarily cause gut issues. Sleep issues seem to disappear. Doesn't um, speak really to your stress levels? Totally. Yeah. This is a, people don't realize just how big of an effect your stress has uh, on your body's ability to build muscle, burn body fat, your cravings, your sleep, your hormones. Digestion. Everything yep. is affected so strongly from these things. And this is why you go on vacation and you're like, wow, I've got the best sleep. I can't believe I feel so good. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had some of my best workouts uh, on vacation, uh, which you know it's, it's strange because my diet isn't necessarily as good. Um, you'll find that when you're stressed, here's another thing, if you're not tracking, you know, you may not realize this, but when you're under a lot of stress, they've proven this in, in many studies. And again, this is my own observation with clients. You crave foods that tend to not be as good for you as well. You tend to eat more oh, yeah. when you're stressed out. Uh, and of course, sleep is is totally negatively affected, you know? Yeah, it is. I've definitely noticed this myself too, like going on vacation. You're just immediately this weight is like like relieved and, and your body just feels like, Oh, you know, I can, I can, uh, provide you more energy. I can provide you like more strength. My workouts are better. It's just like the, there's less of that pressure and tension, like leading into that, like, Oh, I got to get this in and cram it into my already hectic and chaotic schedule. It's just, it's one of those things you, you try and think about that and then kind of carry that into, well, well what do I got to do now? You know, recovery wise, and what do I got to implement now? Like coming back out of vacation to, you know, get these same types of feels. Well, this is, you know, this is interesting. This is a question. And we were talking about that study, Sal, that you brought up with intermittent fasting. This is an example of somebody that I use this tool for. You know, this sometimes is a sign to me like, oh, this person is like stressing about what they're eating. They're, they're, they have, they have this structure that they're following. They probably got a lot of stress at work. They're also hammering the weights like crazy. You know, this is somebody I might say, okay, hey, once a week, we're going to do, you know, a fast. And at, during that time, I want you to do something meditative. I want you to do either yoga. I want you to do sauna stuff or cold plunge, hot, cold stuff, like focus on kind of working within and restrict from food for the day and not think about it. Right. Yeah. And so this is somebody who I might do that with and use that as a tool because that's normally a sign of like, yeah, you are, you're just probably stressing too much mm -hmm. over all those things. And you just naturally going on vacation, probably eating just when you're hungry. You're probably doing things with your family and friends and focusing on other aspects yeah, of your you're life. You're probably even more active. You're getting more sleep. You get more sun, yeah. you know, cause usually on vacation, you're going somewhere where there's more sun. Yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, and your interactions are, are less like stressful and chaotic with people. It's, it's like a whole factor of things. Yeah, I've had clients, uh, lose body fat and get stronger simply from incorporating a some kind of a, a, a relaxation or you know meditative or stress management technique into their lives literally from just adding 10 minutes of meditation a day or prayer or I've had clients actually no joke this is this is this has happened several times where I'll have a client reduce their activity and replace it with something that's more uh, rejuvenating, where, where somebody maybe was doing a spin class, for example. I had a client do this once. We replaced the spin class with a yin yoga class. Now, for all intents and, purpose of, and purposes, she was burning more calories with the spin class than they were with the yoga class. But the result was they actually got leaner. And it, I remember blowing them away, and it, it really did highlight just how much of an impact stress makes on your body. I've had clients who deal with chronic pain, and they'll hire me and we'll do corrective exercise and I'll work with the chiropractor and their physical therapist and imaging shows that they probably shouldn't have any pain. And we got rid of a lot of it, but for some reason there's still some pain present. And then they'll go on vacation and they'll come back and be like, my back pain was gone while I was on vacation and it's starting to come back again. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, this is a stress thing yeah, yeah. that's happening to you. I mean, studies will show that, that you know, antidepressants sometimes will get somebody's pain uh, to go down as well. So there's so much that your stress level and perception of your life 
Um, it's so impactful in your life that if you are putting together a a routine, a health routine, and you're considering your exercise, your diet, your sleep, you should also consider your perception. You also should consider some kind of a spiritual practice or something that will help you manage stress because it's almost it's just as important as those other factors. 